Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi has proposed the idea that a future Palestinian state could be demilitarized, suggesting the presence of temporary international security forces such as NATO, United Nations, Arab or American forces to ensure security for both Palestine and Israel. According to Reuters, Sisi stated, we said that we are ready for the state to be demilitarized and there can also be guarantees of forces, whether NATO forces, United Nations forces or Arab or American forces until we achieve security for both states, the nation Palestinian state and the Israeli state. The quest for a political resolution centered on establishing a Palestinian state along the borders of 4th of June 1967 with East Jerusalem as its capital has faced persistent challenges. Despite diplomatic efforts, achieving a comprehensive and lasting resolution remains elusive. Sisi's proposal introduces the concept of international security involvement as a means to safeguard the interests and security of both emerging states. Swedish Civil Defence Minister Carl Oskar Bollen dismisses video clips of Prime Minister Ulf Kristersson's apparent slip-up as a distortion and part of a disinformation campaign. In a viral clip, Kristersson seems to misspeak while discussing the Israel-Hamas conflict using the word folk instead of force word. Some interpreted this as a reference to folk mord or genocide. Bolin clarifies that circulating clips contain inaccurate translations and distort the Prime Minister's words. According to Bolin, Christensen explicitly affirms Sweden and the EU's unity in recognizing Israel's right to self-defense. The minister emphasizes that the misrepresented video is misleading and aims to create confusion about Sweden's stance on the Israel-Hamas issue. Israeli hostages are said to be received by the international community of the Red Cross, as revealed by Zev Agman, legal advisor to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office. Each hostage, either individually or in groups, will undergo a meticulous process led by the Israeli military. The Red Cross will facilitate the handover across the border, where military officials will conduct physical identifications using both lists and visual verifications. Notably, a comprehensive physical examination by doctors awaits each released hostage, ensuring their well-being. Additionally, they will have the opportunity to make monitored telephone calls to family members, acknowledging the potential emotional complexities given circumstances like familial loss. Following this, the hostages will be transported to five major hospitals and medical facilities across Israel. The significance of this process lies not only in the physical reunion of hostages with their families, but also in addressing the emotional and psychological aspects of those who may have suffered profound losses during their captivity. The World Health Organization expresses deep apprehension for the safety of approximately 100 patients and health workers still within Al-Shifa Hospital in northern Gaza. According to WHO spokesperson Christian Lindmer, urgent efforts are underway to facilitate further evacuations from hospitals in the region. The focus remains on ensuring the well-being of those remaining in Al-Shifa, emphasizing the critical need for their safety amid the conflict. However, Lindmer refrains from responding to comments from the Gaza Health Ministry announcing the suspension of cooperation with the Global Health Agency. The suspension reportedly stems from allegations that Israel is detaining medical staff for questioning.